This is Nanang. She lives in Ma'a, a barrio of Davao City. Davao City is on the island of Mindanao in the Philippines. She lives in a small house with her mother and brother. Her father, who was a police officer, was killed last year. Today is a special day for Nanang. It is her birthday. Her family has been saving for months for her party. Her Lolo and Lola, her aunties and uncles, and all of her cousins will be there. Flora, her best friend, will also be there. It is so exciting, but the party is not until tonight. For now, she must help her mother wash the clothes. Nanang gathers all the dirty clothes and carries them outside to the faucet. She places them in a large plastic tub, then fills the tub with water. She takes a bar of soap and starts scrubbing the clothes. As she squats there scrubbing the family's laundry, she sings softly. Can you imagine what she is singing? It is the new song she learned when the Bible school students came to visit one Sunday. They were near her house teaching the people about Jesus. With joy they sang, Gihi gu mama ni Jesus, ang Nanang thought back. Only a few months ago, she did not know that Jesus loves the little children of the world. How glad she was that the new missionary had shared the story of Jesus with her family. God had really protected them since they had accepted Jesus. At first, it was only her mother, but now also her and Bong Bong, her older brother. Nanang remembered when she was sick. The doctors could not find out what was making her ill. Brother Turner, the missionary, came to their house and prayed for her. Right away, she began to feel better. The next day, she went back to school. Nanang also remembered the morning when Bong Bong was out on the street selling papers. He sold papers every morning to help the family have enough money to buy food. This particular morning, three boys came by, and while one talked to Bong Bong, the other two stole the money he had earned. Right away, Bong Bong prayed for God to help him. When he looked up, there stood a police officer. They were able to catch the boys and get Bong Bong's money back. Nanang quickly finished the clothes and went in where her mother had breakfast ready. Mmm, the rice and dried fish smelled good. They bowed their heads and thanked God for his love and for their food. As soon as Nanang finished her breakfast, she had to get ready for school. Bong Bong came in from selling the newspapers as Nanang was getting ready. He had to get ready for school as well. Nanang got her towel and headed outside to where the bathroom was. It was just a faucet and toilet, but it was all they were used to. Using a stone for her washcloth, she bathed and shampooed her long black hair. She slipped into her school uniform, a blue skirt, white blouse, white socks and black shoes. Nanang combed her shiny wet hair. She ran next door with Bong Bong to catch a ride on the jeepney. Flora's papa drove the jeepney to provide transportation for the people in the village. School started at 7 a.m., but it was out at 12 p.m. At school, Nanang's friends all wished her a happy birthday. Nanang had a hard time keeping her mind on her work. She kept thinking about her party. Mary Grace, her teacher's sharp voice brought her back to reality. Mrs. Paris, the teacher, was one of the few who used Nanang's real name. School was difficult for Nanang. Classes were taught in English, and the children were required to speak English at school. She would rather speak Cebuano. That is what the family spoke at home. At 12 p.m., school was out for the younger students. Nanang and Bong Bong walked home with Flora. Don't forget my party tonight at six, Nanang called to Flora as she started in the house. Mother was putting lunch on the table when they came in. The rice and vegetables smelled so good. Nanang was hungry. After lunch, they all lay down for a siesta. An hour later, Nanang and Bong Bong got up. There were many preparations to be made for the party. It was important for each of them to help so that they would be ready for their guests. Bong Bong chopped the wood for cooking. Nanang took a coconut husk and began to shine the floor. She smiled as she worked. Nanang was glad she could help her mother. While Nanang and Bong Bong worked, their mother began preparing the food. The fire was started for cooking after Bong Bong brought in the wood. 
they would have bihon spaghetti, grilled fish, bananas, and of course, rice. At 6 p.m., the guests arrived. Nanang's Lolo and Lola arrived first, bringing her birthday present with them. Nanang cheerfully thanked her grandparents. Salamat po, she said, as she gave them a great big hug and a kiss. She put the present away. In the Philippines, presents are opened after the guests leave. Soon the house was full of aunts, uncles, cousins, and laughter. Flora arrived later with Brother Turner behind her. Everyone gathered around to sing happy birthday to Nanang. Brother Turner led in prayer, plates were passed, and everyone found plenty of good food to eat. After cake and ice cream, Mother asked everyone to sit down and listen as Brother Turner explained about another type of birthday. Brother Turner opened his Bible and began to read. Jesus answered, I tell you the truth, unless a man is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the Spirit gives birth to Spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Each of us here has been born of flesh, Brother Turner explained. We have a physical birth, and each year we celebrate our birthday, just as Nanang is doing today. This is a very happy time for us. But there is another birthday that causes even more joy, and that is when we are born again. You see, each person is born in sin. The Bible says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. None is worthy to enter heaven. In Romans 6.23 we read, For the wages of sin is death. That means the price we must pay for sinning is eternal death or separation from God. This sounds awful. But the rest of the verse says, The gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. If we admit we are sinners and ask Jesus to forgive us, to be our Lord, then we receive the gift of eternal life. We are born again to live forever with Jesus. This is our second birthday, our spiritual birthday. It is for everybody, no matter how young or old. You can have your spiritual birthday tonight. Right now, you can ask Jesus to forgive your sins and to be your Savior. You can do that right now. Just pray with me. Lord Jesus, I realize that I am a sinner, that I have sinned against you. I believe that you died on the cross for me. I believe you were buried, and I believe that on the third day you rose again. Please forgive my sins and come into my life. I want to live for you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. When Nanang looked up, she was happy to see tears in her Lola's eyes. They were tears of joy. Nanang's Lola knew about Jesus and had been a good person but she had not understood what it meant to be born again and to go to heaven. Now, on Nanang's physical birthday, her Lola had a spiritual birthday. Nanang turned to look for Flora. Flora was smiling, a very special smile. She too had asked Jesus to be her savior. Nanang's heart felt as if it would burst. She thanked God for his son Jesus, and she was very thankful that now her Lola and best friend would know him too. This was a wonderful birthday. It could not be better, she thought. After everyone left, Nanang started opening her presents. There were new shoes from her grandparents, hair barrettes from her auntie, and a new school bag from her uncle. Flora had bought her a tachyon. Nanang laughed. Now they wouldn't have to use a bunch of rubber bands tied together or flowers when they played. Nanang continued to unwrap the gifts. She thought about her Lola and Flora. Now they would share the same birthday. It would be a celebration of her physical birth and their spiritual births. Nanang was smiling, but she smiled the most when she opened Brother Turner's gift. It was a Bible written in her own dialect, Say Bueno. How grateful she was to have her very own Bible. She held it to her chest and thanked God for his word. She then thanked God for Brother Turner 
It will be wonderful to read about Jesus in my own language, she thought. She carefully opened the cover and looked inside. There on the cover page, Brother Turner had written, Happy Birthday, Nanang. 